What's up, people? What's happening? It's your boy, Doc G, right now. And y'all gotta excuse me. I just came from the club, you know what I'm saying? So, if my mind is kind of altered, you gotta excuse me for that. But, fuck it. <laughs> no better time like the present than to speak my motherfucking mind. You dig? So, it is what it is. And my topic is only for a limited amount of people, man. You know, and this topic right here, it's, it's, kind of, it's hard being the big guy. Okay? It's hard being the big guy for a lot of reasons. Of course we got, of course we got, you know, our good things that... <laughs> That benefit us as big guys. And of course you got. Things that don't benefit us as big guys. Okay. Alright. I'm 6'1", 300 pounds man. But I don't have a lot of fat. You know what I'm saying. And. <laughs> a lot of people perceive me in a weird way man. You know what I'm saying. Because I'm a big guy man. Um, it's like a lot of people think that I'm, that I'm always gearing up to beat somebody's ass, man. You know what I'm saying? I, just because I'm a big guy doesn't mean that I'm going to beat people's ass all the time. Come on, man. I'm, I'm a regular person just like everybody else. You know, I mean, motherfucking, just because I'm a big guy doesn't mean I play football all the time. It doesn't mean that I'm a fucking bouncer. It doesn't mean that I'm a construction worker or a firefighter. Hell, I mean, I do have a mind, you know what I'm saying? And I've been using my mind for seven years as a fucking medic. I've been working in hospitals and shit and working in the field with Marines, taking care of Marines medic-wise. And, um... You know, I I get my I get my money by using my mind, man. You know, just because I'm a big guy doesn't mean that I have to fucking use my physical strength all the time. And I'm tired of people fucking thinking just because I'm a big guy that you know that they expect a lot of things from me that really are kind of fucked up, man. Because I noticed that you know. It's a lot of people that I know. And every time somebody has to move or do some type of physical labor or, you know, move furniture or something like that, the first person they come to is me. Why? Because I'm the big guy. You know? Oh, you know, let's let's get Garcia to help us move this couch. Oh, let's get Garcia to help us cut down this tree. Oh, let's get Garcia to help us cut this grass. Let's get Garcia to help us put together this motherfucking trampoline. Oh, let's get Garcia to fucking paint this house. I'm tired of motherfuckers trying to use me for physical labor. You know what I'm saying? I'm I, All the big guys out there who, who, who are out there, y'all understand me, man. You know? And um, a lot of people think that I'm intimidating... I'm, I don't think that I'm really that intimidating. I'm a normal guy. Like, a lot of girls think I'm intimidating because they say, oh, man, well, you look like you're going to hit somebody. So, therefore, it's already pre predestined in their mind that I'm a motherfucking physically violent guy just because of my size. Um, what else? It's already fucked up that they think that... Um, they think that I'm supposed to fucking help them with physical labor because of my size. And on top of that, you know, just because I'm, I'm 6'1", 300 pounds, they'd be expecting me to have like, um, like they'd be expecting me to have like a 13-inch dick and all that. Look, I'm happy with the size of my shit. Don't get it twisted now. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? But motherfucking... You, you, nigga, you know, just because nigga six one three hundred pounds don't mean I'm like eighteen motherfucking inches. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. You know, I'm, I'm straight. 
with what I got. And I'm not going to reveal to y'all what's happening with that, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just, um, overall, I'm just tired of, um, I'm tired of motherfuckers judging me from being a big guy. And on top of that, it's hard to find clothes because if you're a little guy, if you like five feet, a hundred pounds, the world is your oyster as far as finding clothes. If you're six one, three hundred pounds, and you got size fourteen shoe, you got to fucking search for shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to search for clothes. You know, you better live in a big city because if you live in a small town and you my size. You got to go on the goddamn internet to find your clothes, man, and your shoes, you know. And on top of that, like, I told you guys that I used to work in the medical field, and I used to work in the hospital, okay. When I worked in the hospital, I also used to take care of kids. Um, parents would be more reluctant. They, would, they wouldn't be quick to motherfucking let me take care of their kids because I'm a big guy. You know, it's it's crazy how ignorant people are. If they they'll be more quick to let a little guy, a little puny guy, take care of their kids. You know, but they think just because I'm six one three hundred pounds, they think that you know it's you know they look at me differently than they look at those guys. I mean, I'm not gonna break your child. I have the same training he does. I have the same amount of skills he does. I mean, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, it's... You know, I'm, I'm just representing for all the big brothers out there, man. If, if, you're, if you're a big brother, man, holler at me, leave a comment or something. You know, just speak in my mind right now, man. I I love y'all, man. All my subscribers, I really love y'all, you know what I'm saying? I... Doc G out. Peace.